And the start of school is rapidly approaching, and we're in your corner ma making sure your children are ready. Tonight, we're focusing on Harford County Public Schools. Our Harford County community reporter, Jessica Albert, sat down with the superintendent there to discuss his plan for this year and his ongoing concerns over the district's budget. So we're getting ready to start a new school year. What are your priorities heading into this year? I really have three priorities. The first, student achievement. We need to focus on the rigor of the courses our students are taking. I want to make sure they're getting the best possible preparation for life beyond our, our walls. How has he impacted the world? Number two is tracking how prepared students are. Looking at not only how we teach those skills, but also how we assess the students have them. And number three, strengthening special education. There are so many things that need to be addressed in special education, but we need to make sure they have the resources they need to be successful and that we remove the barriers that are in place in some cases to their success. Harford County School Superintendent Dr. Sean Bolson spent the summer break preparing for students to start the new year. Another one of his priorities budget is, is very difficult is making sure there's enough funding for the district. Locally, we've now seen flat funding essentially. Um, the last couple of years, the state funding has gone up, but the to-do list from the blueprint has gone up even more. <laughs> but it's still growing. Earlier this year, WJZ interviewed Dr. Bolson as he was fighting for more funding from county leaders. The district did receive some, but not enough. We reached into our reserves to balance this year's budget. It allowed us to minimize the number of cuts we had to do. We did some, but they weren't very deep. But um, the amount of reserves we have appropriated for this year's budget is more than we would have to use next year, so we can't use that same amount of reserves again. He highlights that his district and others across the state are facing challenges, making ends meet with the rising cost of inflation, and now that COVID-19 funding has expired. There's a reckoning that kind of needs to happen at the state level to ensure that we can make the blueprint sustainable. I think we're making great gains academically toward our goals here in Harford County, but it's harder to sustain those if, if the funding isn't coming along to make sure that's able to stay on track. On your corner in Harford County, Jessica Albert for WJZ. Well, stay with WJZ for Ready, Set, School. We will be taking you to all the local school districts to talk with the superintendents, see how they're preparing, and you can watch all of our stories on our website in our special section in the middle of the page, or you can scan the QR code there in the middle of your screen.